Anytime that somebody's trying to jam this receiver, it's just not a jammable route. That's what makes it so glitchy. And it immediately gets around for just about anything that tries to jam it for an easy one-play touchdown. That pitch goes at least 10 yards. And you can see it just warps the ball out, and I got nothing but green grass out of here. I mean, this is one of the glitchiest run plays in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Teams and Mad Money Shot. Snip of the match. He's always got a full offensive breakdown for you guys today. I'm going to show you guys some run plays and some pass plays from an offense that I put out earlier in the week. If you guys want to see more out of this particular uh, playbook, because I do plan on putting out more plays, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go let's get right to the video. The offense I'm in, again, is the pistol playbook. I'm going to spend a week or two in the pistol playbook. Uh, spoiler alert, I love this playbook. The only reason that I don't use it more often is because I know people that play in custom playbooks don't have access to a lot of these plays including the offense I'm going to show you guys today. The offense I'm going to show you guys today is an offense that I started by showing you guys last year. I'm going to show you guys a lot of run plays, but I have a lot of new one-play touchdowns. So the reason I'm starting off with this particular uh, formation is because it has one of the best run plays and one of the best running schemes in the game. Uh, the power option is the all-star of this particular series, uh, but I also have a couple of really good counter runs like the halfback dive week, which is a very good inside run. The halfback counter, which is a very explosive outside run, and the toss, which is also a very good run so you really have uh, four good run plays and if I were to choose a fifth run play which I'm gonna consider a run play uh, the fifth play because you can always choose a fifth outside of your audibles would be the halfback slip screen so that's not necessarily a run play but it's definitely a good wrinkle to throw in against your opponent so that would be my fifth play but we're gonna go I'm gonna start off with the power option now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors AOH.com if you guys want to get your mud team up and help support this channel at the same time I really appreciate you guys for doing that all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and you just count code money to get three percent off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market now this particular play is real easy there's really no reads involved if it's a if it's a zone coverage i'm typically going to run it as is if it's a man coverage i'm typically going to flip it the way you can tell if it's a man coverage or not is if there's a cornerback on the right side a lot of times when you come to the line you'll see there's no cornerback holding down this edge that's the perfect opportunity to flip and have a very big run but on this particular play you can see we do have a zone coverage um, sometimes I mean, there's another option when it comes to man coverage and that's motioning across this guy here if you motion this guy across and be, I mean here it's shifted defense and it still might help out but if you if you motion this guy across and the cornerback follows it will give you a little bit more help getting out to the edge now as far as this play goes here didn't necessarily run it right but we still had success as we're going to get close to 15 yards on a busted play i was supposed to hold that with the quarterback i'll show you guys in the replay here in the past i pretty much flipped it every single time and that's exactly what i did here just by habit but ultimately if this defender here right in front of you doesn't go after i mean i kind of had to because i had a secondary defender come at me but typically you can run with the quarterback if this first defender doesn't come at you so here I, I guess i decided to pitch it probably should have got up behind 83 and he probably would have blocked that guy but like i said total bust to play and it still worked out because i made a guy miss but the bottom line is you can see how important the pitch is going to be the pitch is simply just going to be hitting the left bumper keep that in mind that's the left bumper l1 if you're on playstation so hopefully we'll do that a little bit better here on this next try as you can see here the force defender comes in much quicker this time and you can see boom we're getting a very big play is if i had a little more wheels i might have had a touchdown there that was still like a 30 yard run so you can see how explosive this play is especially if this first guy plays aggressively the second i pitch that ball out boom we're getting about a five yard to maybe more man it's like a five to seven yard pitch and this cornerback here just over pursues inside and you can see boom it's just a simple sprint outside at this point i mean that's what makes this formation so good is you don't have to be very good at running the ball you don't have to be very good at diagnosing uh you know your blocking or anything like that you're pretty much going to get outside of every single defense in the game and i'm still not really getting any man coverages so we're just going to keep going with this once again get that pitch 
pitch out. There you can see I got that pitch out very late. I don't know if Miles Sanders is my fastest run back. I feel like I should have got more there, but it's still about 10 to 15 yards. You can see here when it comes to these pitch plays, you usually get pretty favorable animations. I mean, this is not, look at this. There's no real reason based off the fact that the, the, he's being tackled by Mika Parsons. The ball's covered up and somehow he still gets that pitch out. So just keep that in mind. And this pitch is a pretty ridiculous pitch too. That pitch goes at least 10 yards. And you can see it just warps the ball out, and I got nothing but green grass out of here. I mean, this is one of the glitchiest run plays in the game. So here we finally get that man coverage opportunity. Like I said, this here, I'm going to flip it with the right stick, not the whole not the whole thing. And you can see once again, boom, there's nobody out here holding this edge. And now we have nothing but a huge run lane in the opposite direction. We almost get about 45 yards on that run. That's why this is so such a broken play. So you can see how explosive that is. You can see how dynamic that play is. I don't think I have to go over that anymore. And this is the perfect opportunity to switch over to the halfback dive week this is a very good inside run uh based off of the fact that i mean i can really go with any number any number of these runs this is a good look also for the counter uh it's not necessarily the best look for the toss but the counter or the dive will should have a lot of success with this particular look i'll go ahead and i'll go with the counter because we're going for explosive plays here i would probably go with the dive in game but let's try to get some a little more explosive here anytime you have a spread alignment like we have here where essentially the the down linemen are all pretty spread out either one of these plays should have success now this here you can see the counter there's just nothing but traffic for that defensive end coming in he just got totally bowled off of that you can see this defensive end here he plays aggressive uh, after the first contact he's got two guys to go through and there's just nothing there once he gets through these first two guys i mean look how much space i have i just have a huge lane uh and there's nothing even you know close to me for about 10 yards so here's another look Based off the fact that I can tell it's a double safety blitz, we're just going to go with the uh, the inside uh, the halfback dive because I know that they're going to over pursue outside, and if I run a counter, they're going to they're going to be uh, in my face. So let's go and let's flip this, go the opposite way. If we can get past this first level, we should have a lot of success. And boom, like I said, you can see as long as you have spacing, as long as you have gaps, which you will have. Based off the fact that most people are going to be more concerned with this outside run, I've seen this so much when I come out of this formation. People see this this weird alignment, like, oh, here comes that pitch play again. They're going to be spreading their defense. They're going to be trying to stop the outside run. Perfect opportunity just to take this inside. And that can be said for a lot of formations in this playbook. Like I said, hit the like button in the comment section if you want to see more uh, really hard to stop run plays in this particular book. We're going to end this video, though, on the halfback slip screen. This is something, if you have an opponent, a lot of people think that stopping the run means, you know, becoming aggressive. So if you're opponent starts stacking the box uh you know sending too many uh defenders like they come out and start sending the house this is a perfect opportunity for this slip screen now the the slip screen that's typically what slip screens are for they're typically for people that like the blitz so if that becomes an issue if they're you know sending too many defenders just switch it up and hit with the slip screen this particular series really breaks down to two passing plays i'll go and i'll show you them in my audibles there's two passing plays that i'm not sure if i'm going to show both today i know i'm going to show this one this one here is the one that i put out last year it's very different how this play works this year and it also is very it's much more explosive this year i found way more ways to hit one play touchdowns with this offensive play so this is going to be a play i showed today and i'm not sure but i might show the post wheel as well so two very explosive plays i'm going to show you guys on offense we're going to start off with the power option pass and on defense we're going to go how we're going to match we're going to start off with nickel tampa two now this play here last year was only a one play touchdown against cover three but it has a lot more uses i found a lot more ways to have explosive plays against pretty much every single defense in the game it's going to be a slightly different setup on every single play on this play i'm going to motion across uh, uh rager here all i'm gonna do is motion him across i'm gonna put the a route on a streak this is going to be enough to get uh, rager open for a very big play now i'm also going to block my running back because he really doesn't do much so ultimately this is it you can give yourself a check down uh in a couple of other ways but yeah this is going to be a really big play you have to run from a hash mark because this is a route that kind of goes to the sideline i went ahead and swapped out uh rager for watkins because i don't know why anybody would play uh jalen rager at this point uh quez watkins is way better but this is pretty much going to be the exact same thing only now we got a little more speed hopefully he can get up the field a little bit quicker and then you can see i mean this is something that i could probably have a one play touchdown because i'm getting pretty close i'm almost there about 40 about 10 yards away i'm gonna do that one more time like i said if you have a really fast tight end um i don't think i'm gonna have success with that because i think mika parsons is roam in the middle there i don't think he's gonna get past uh, or at the very least, I'll have to catch up speed to take that away. But you can see that the tight end does have an opportunity as well. And like I said, this might be a one play touchdown if you're about 40 yards out, but clearly I'm not going to get that 50. Still a very explosive play though. Let's go and let's move on and do cover three. Cover three is very unique. So we'll go and pick that. Now, this is a play that I put out last year and it still works. You can motion out this running back 
And this has a very weird uh, reaction. The cornerback has a very strange reaction to what this running back's doing. All I'm going to do is put the A route here on a fade, and you're going to see how this, this uh, swing route is going to basically pull that cornerback down, giving you an opportunity for a very big catch and run. Now, if I had an elite speed tight end, and I showed that last year, you could score one play touchdowns with that. But ultimately, not everybody has an elite speed tight end. You can see how it didn't you know, work out for Goddard here. I'll do it one more time before I show you guys another secondary setup. And you can see, like I said, for whatever reason, the cornerback just kind of follows that running back underneath, and you get a very easy play against cover three. Now, this play is going to work pretty much the exact same way this year, where I'm going to do the exact same thing. Only this time, I'm going to put the B route on a streak, and the X route is going to be the guy. Now, the biggest issue with this is going to be holding down um, the pocket, but you can see how this guy here gets over the top because the cornerback still bites underneath. It's going to be the exact same effect. When it comes to hitting the home run against cover three, all you really have to do is get this cornerback to play down typically, and that's exactly what this route does. He plays down to a point where he doesn't even get past the 10 yard depth until the receiver who's going to beat him is about five yards behind him. So you can see from this view right here, they're about 15 to 20 yards apart. He's at the 40, he's at the 20. So they're 20 or so yards apart, which is going to be a gap that's going to be very difficult to close up by the time I get the ball in the air. Also has a lot of success against cover four. So we got to back out, find one here in the dime formation. Against cover four, you just have to put the A route and the B route on drags that's really all you got to do because you're trying to pull the safeties down uh, and that will do a good enough job with that then you just have to wait for this x route here to cross and you can see how he can split those two safeties very easy for an easy one play touchdown this is a very timing based throw and you're going to need a pretty good speed receiver to get this done but you can see the second he gets inside the free safety here he's pretty much you know at any point he gets past the strong safety you can pretty much bullet and pass lead inside away from the free safety as i'm probably already thrown as you look back there i'm already winding up because that's pretty much where the timer is going to take place the second he gets inside of 18 he's already past the strong safety just bullet past the inside and away and you can see how you can have separation but like i said this is definitely something you want to practice in practice mode because the timing is definitely key. You also want to drop back too much if you don't have a very strong quarterback, like I don't, as you can see right there. Like I said, it's a tight window, but it's a one play touchdown. So we'll go and pick that again. The next defense we're going to go, we're just going to go back to our nickel packages here, and we're going to go to uh, cover four match. This one here, you don't have to make any adjustments on this particular play because the B route, you can see there's a lot of crisscrossing going on, and cover four matches don't really do a very good job with that. The safety looked like he had no idea who was supposed to cover there. If we go to the replay and we watch this particular safety, I don't know what type of covers this is but it looks like he wants to cut that off then he basically goes to the deeper route which also would be open at that point i don't know who's supposed to cover this guy because the ball's already leaving his hand but i guess he passed it off to the outside cornerback and the outside cornerback didn't know like i said very glitchy play so like i said the easiest way to run this against cover four is just do nothing and then you can see the B route here just gets completely lost in translation for a catch and run. You could score from just about anywhere on the field. And then last but not least, we have man coverages. Now this year, I can run against just about anything, but we'll go and we'll pick random man coverage. So that's pretty much it for that play. Next up, we're going to go ahead, though. We're going to switch over to the post wheel. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to continue with cover two. There's another play. You don't really have to make any adjustments against cover two, but you really can. You can motion this guy out. I've done that already in some plays, so it shouldn't draw your opponent's attention too much. Uh, and then you can put the A route on the streak. If you put the A route and the Y route on the streak, the RB route and the B route will both have success, but you'll have limited uh, resources when it comes to blocking. But at the end of the day, this is a very quick uh, route to get open, especially against cover two. So there's really no downside to doing that. If you watch the replay, this route here gets open right away. And it's mostly because the jam works against this defense based on the fact that he's jamming 16 to throw him inside. On the other side, there is no excuse for that. If we go over to the other side, there's, no, there's nothing over here. It's just such a wide looping pattern that this particular pattern doesn't get jammed because the cornerback just doesn't have the range to do it. So it really just runs right past him for an easy one-play touchdown. I could throw this right about 10, 20 yards off the mark, and he's going to be wide open. So it's really up to you. The B route, though, is not really a one-play touchdown the same way that the running back is. You can see it's just a very big play, but if anybody's running cover two, it's nice to have that. Ultimately, motioning out the running back and putting the A route on the streak is going to be the most explosive version, but you do have a check down against cover two on the other side. And then, like I said, you don't really have to do much. He just runs right past the defense here for the most part. So let's go and let's pick that play again. Now we're going to go with cover three. Against cover three, you're going to need a fast receiver once again. But all you're going to do is put the B route here 
on a fade and then put the a route you're just going to flip the a route put them on a 10 yard out route instead of a 10 yard in round you can block your running back you don't really need that and now we're looking for that x route the x route there is going to get open based off the fact that there's just a good amount of separation between the cornerback and the safety based off of the 10 yard out route there's nothing else on that side of the field now they're actually threw the ball a little bit early but if you watch how this cornerback reacts to this 10 yard out route based on the fact that there's nothing else out here he just commits to it a little bit too much and you can see i'm not even to the wide side of the field but there's a ton of space there as he still doesn't really pick until the ball's in the air. And now you can see I'm pretty much just getting past his defense. You can also have a lot of success with the original setup by motioning this guy out and just putting the A route here on a fade. That will essentially uh, get the A route. If you have a really fast tight end, you might be able to get a nice catch and run, but the A route will get open up a very wide seam if you decide to run it that way. Now, this play is also a very good man beating route. So let's go and let's pick that. We'll start off with cover two man and work our way back. Cover two man is going to work a lot the same way that cover, uh, cover two zone did, where essentially this running back here is going to run right around that press. And even with one of the best cornerbacks in the game, he just runs right right around it for a very easy one play touchdown. So anytime you see that motion in this formation, it's very glitchy. I've used it in several different plays. It's been a one play touchdown in multiple different ways. This is one of the few times though where it's the actual motion that's gonna make the play not necessarily set up somebody else. So here we go one more time, like I said, that play, that route, it just takes too dramatic of a wide turning angle and it's just not something that, I mean, as long as you have a 90 speed or more running back running it, you should have a one play touchdown. Same principles apply anytime that somebody's trying to jam this receiver it's just not a jambable route that's what makes it so glitchy is the fact that it can't be jammed and it immediately gets around for just about anything that tries to jam it for an easy one play touchdown so we will pick that one more time we'll go ahead and we'll switch over to cover one man when it comes to cover one man though you're gonna have pretty much the same route that gets open against cover three so put the b route here on a streak block your running back uh your tight end you can do whatever you want with it maybe like a little zig route for a check down would probably be my preferred setup uh, but you can see here the X routes to play this time and you can see once again he's getting across the formation so cover three cover one that's going to be your play it's also going to be your play probably against man coverage cover zero stuff like that uh, it's very easy one play touchdown so I'm going to end the video there gave you guys a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game with those two plays if you guys want to see more plays out of this particular uh, playbook route of this particular formation hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below